Beautiful colors and how you got started. So in your presentation, Mary made me do it. I did. I pulled her kicking and screaming away from her job. <laughs> Mary made me do it. That's I did. Awesome. I love it. And she's much older. She's Hello. Oh, <laughs> hi. Uh, we're so excited to have uh, Barb and Mary of Me and My Sister Designs with us here on Facebook Live today. They're, they're joining us here in frigid and icy oh, Hamilton. Know. There were icicles on my nose on the walk over here. Know, it was it's just so, so cold. cold. Too much information, Barb. Okay, <laughs> we're okay. So, so glad to have you guys oh, with well, us. Oh, thank so. you. We have fun here. Yeah, yeah it's do. so fun. So they're gonna, yeah, let's see who we've got uh, watching. We've got Susan watching, Hi, Susan. Uh, Royce from Texas is watching, Ooh. Sharon from Michigan, uh, Kathy from Mississippi. Thank you guys so much oh, for you. tuning yeah, in. Remember, if you have questions as you're watching along the way, be sure and uh, comment and we will do our best to answer them as we, we go along. So uh, Barb and Mary, we had a few questions when we posted the teaser yesterday, just a little bit about how you guys got started and what inspires you. So if you want to dive into that, that would be awesome. Well, Mary drugged me kicking and screaming yes. into this business. <laughs> I did. I honest. had a real job and a real paycheck and um, <laughs> all the benefits that went with it. And Mary said, you're going to quit your job and we're going to do this. And yes, actually, it was the best thing we ever did. Yes. That, that's awesome. Uh -huh. It was fun. That's so wonderful. That's good. So what about, what, what inspires you? What about all these cheerful, happy colors? Actually, that's a, that's a funny story. Um, Mary has always loved I'm the bright, the bright and cheerful side. colors. And believe it or not, I was the dirty, dingy, dull acid and dreary, <laughs> dull and all dreary. of that stuff. And now yeah. I, I don't even look at it. I'm just so, mm -mm. so much converted the brights. Her. That's good. Yeah, I love the brights. They're so, so happy. So that is so awesome. I'm so glad that you guys are here with us. Uh, just so you guys know, we do have a link in the description where you guys can oh. shop. Um, some of the awesome me and my sister products that uh, oh, you'll you. be showing you, us you. today. And so you guys have kind of a fun little stash buster, right? We do. It's Just... called the Two Fat Quarter Bucket. Awesome. And we've got a little tutorial um, for you today. And anybody that has two fat quarters can make this. Awesome. I love it. Yes. I feel like that's pretty I much any quilter. Yes. You got, you got everybody covered. Anything covered. Anything covered. <laughs> Okay, awesome. so I'm going to show you how. Awesome. Am I okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dive in. Barb makes me do this all the time. All right. Look how cute I folded my fat I quarters. I love the little triangle fold. Isn't that fun? So it's a flag cute. fold. So you need two fat quarters. Okay. Okay, also some things on there. We need um, Deco Bond. Okay. It's 809. It's the crunchy stuff. It makes it nice and firm and makes it stand up because this an, is what we're like going to be doing. It's an interfacing, right? It's an interfacing. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we do. So we tell you how to... We have our two fat quarters. We're going to cut them to size. So I have one that, this is the hardest part. You're going to have to figure out what you want for your lining and your cuff. Okay. And what you want for your base of your Your outside bucket. piece. So this is the outside and this is the lining and the cuff. So what I chose was to put this on the outside. And I adhered my deco bond with, to the back side here. It okay. tells you how to do that on the instructions. Okay. A tip there is, have you ever gotten that orange peel kind of thing, the little bumpy when you put, uh -huh. spray it, spritz it with um, water first before you put it down uh -huh. and use your steam and you don't get that orange peel oh, that's on there a anymore. Great so there's a little yeah. fun thing with that, keep you from crying. Keep it nice and smooth. Okay, so what yeah. we have, we have two of them. Okay. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to our lining as we do to our exterior. Except for the interface. Yes, okay, okay. They, one has it and one doesn't. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna make a tube. And everything here is a half inch seam allowance. 
So we're gonna sew down here and we're gonna make a tube. Okay. And I made a tube. Then we're gonna take the tube and we're gonna center the seam. Okay. I pressed mine open, that's a half inch seam. Okay. And we're gonna sew across the bottom. Awesome. Okay. Then we're gonna, you're gonna be clipping. Get your little scissors in there and you get there and you're gonna clip this little edge. Okay, we're gonna, don't clip your stitches, just clip to them. So we've done, we've sewed in the tube, we've flattened it out, and, and I press a little bit up here because we're gonna use that as a guideline later on. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna be popping this out. This is what the guideline's for. We're gonna take our open, and we're gonna do our little corners on there. A boxed corner. Box corner. All right. So I think I have I one that does this. Use. There you go. <laughs> Throw that over there. Okay, so what I had my was my rodeo. <laughs> Come on. My tube. And I'm doing my I did my sides, I clipped my things, and then I'm gonna poke this out. Now it shows you in the pattern, but seeing it 3D really helps. Yeah. Okay, so what I did was I pressed that out and I measured in to make my box corner. And how much did you measure up? Is that I do two, like inches. two inches. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good proportion to it. So I drew a line. You can use the little friction pans or whatever. And you're going to stitch on that line. This is what you're going to actually go and stitch on this. Wonderful. Okay. Then we're going to clip this off. Did I make one that's a clip? Yeah. Oh, let's pull it out. All right. This is good. Okay. So we did all that sewing. And it's all at a half inch. And I clip, see how I clip my little seam? Yeah. A half inch. And then I went ahead and clipped here again too. Okay, I see, yeah. You I want everything those. to be flat. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's odd, but you've got that sewn across. You've got the back tube sewn. You sewn and pinched your corners and did all that. Wonderful. And we do that. Then you do it with your lining. Okay. Exact same thing. You don't have all that stuff on it. See how crunchy that is? Isn't yeah, that fun? So nice. And I always poke out my little corners. It's fun. Yeah, they turn out really nice. So you've and got sharp. a crunchy. So this one you turn right side out. Okay. And I went ahead and did it, the exact same thing with my lining. See, I sewed a tube, I sewed across the bottom, I did all my clipping. All that's together. Wonderful. It's the twin. It's the twin. <laughs> then this goes right side out. This one's still. And you're going to put these together. So you're basically putting right sides together. Right sides together, okay. yes. And I'm going to line up my seams. Okay. And I'm going to pin that. But I'm a okay. pinner. That's good. So I do that. So We I kinda, should have pins somewhere. We but got it. We're okay. okay. So we're going to just make sure that's all. You might have to push it and play with it. But it's, it's, it's all there. Yeah. Okay. I've had somewhere where I sewed it. Okay. Okay. I, we all have that little arm on our sewing machine. Sometimes yeah. the plate comes out yeah. or it's big enough you can do it without taking that arm off. But you're going to sew these two together and you're going to leave an opening about three or four inches. Okay, perfect. Oh good, we have pins. So I pinned the whole yeah. way around. <laughs> and this is my little thing. This is for myself because I always forget. When I sew around um, to make sure I don't sew my opening, I double pin. Oh, just to mark double it for yourself. You know what I do? I cross it like an X. My double pin means to backstitch. Okay. Now, I've been backstitching the whole way through because in quilting, we always cross our seams and we don't have to backstitch. But since these corners, we're going to be clipping and turning. I backstitch everywhere. That makes sense because we don't want those and, to and come out. And we're not out. used to it in quilting, right. but we do it here. Absolutely. So, that's it. so you do your two. And you backstitch, and that's my code. Do you cross yours, Barb? I like do. You I make, make a little X. X. Because that tells you. It's X just a little. To just stop. something. To just a little it code to yeah. tells you don't sew there. Stop. That makes sense. Okay, then we're gonna turn these the right side out. All right. We get to pull this You're through. Going to birth the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> birth the bucket. <laughs> So this is why you've backstitched, because you're going to be putting a little bit of tension on there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, who wants to help pull? Oh, hi, oh, retreaters! Hi, retreaters! Yeah. <laughs> you guys in a little bit. Okay, see, everything comes... Right through there. Right through there. That's great. And this is where I take time and do a little pressing. Okay. Okay, see, now you, this is the only time you're going to have this nice and top there. And I go through and I press. Now, what you have is you've left your opening... So you're going to press that in. See, I've pressed this little guy in mm -hmm. and this little guy in because that's how you turned it right side out. So what I've done is I've pressed all this 
And then I'm going to tuck my lining into my exterior. Okay. And I use uh, stitch witchery. Okay. It's okay. like liquid nails. Okay. It's, it's neat. It holds it together. So I would put a little piece in there because I folded my seam allowance down and I would use a, a little tap of steam on my iron. And just to tack those you, together. It's, it's like just nice to hold clean. it. You don't have to, but you can just pin it because what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch. I was just going to ask if you top stitch. We're going to okay. top stitch. And so I put this in my machine and I top stitch Can I on the one thing real go, quick? go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> when I'm doing this before I top stitch, I like to kind of spin it, it with <laughs> my fingers there. so I get a nice clean oh, edge. Oh, true. There. Yeah. And I'll press that so that you don't see any of the lining so on the front. So they're coming together just, so just, smooth. Yeah. yeah. See how yeah. You, just, you just kind of roll it you with play your with fingers it. back and forth. And that gives you a nice, crisp, clean edge. Yeah, that's okay. great. Oh, great tip. Thank you, Sister Barbara. <laughs> Golly, yeah, that's the only thing she does is tell me what to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. Okay, so you've got it all tucked in. Now's a good time to get your iron and kind of in, put it in the interior Inside. and make it roundier because you've done some Just good keep creasing. It, keep it pretty, Then right? you're going to yeah. turn this down. Well, I top stitch. And I always go to the you lining. Two rows, right? Yes. Yeah. One close to the edge. Do you want to show it on this one? Sure. Maybe if, if we can see it. There's top stitching. One is closer to the edge and one's about, a, what would that be, a half inch in from the edge? Yeah. Quarter and quarter a half. Quarter and a half. Yep. Yeah. So I've done that and that's going to keep it from rolling. And I'm going to turn down my little thing and I've made my bucket. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Isn't I love that it. Fun? That's and so fun just, yeah, you can use it for gifts or just to yep. store things. Oh, Barb will that show you that job. one. Okay, all right, I'm okay. sorry. Gee, Barb, take it over. My job was to show you some of the fun things that you can do. Perfect, I love it. You can do little fun things like this. I made myself a Valentine gift. I love it. I just filled it with chocolates and my favorite candy, a little tissue paper. Um, my neighbors are really lucky because sometimes on my street, I leave little things like this in their mailbox. Oh, you're one of those neighbors that make yes. us all look bad. Yes, I try. I do my best. <laughs> That's and awesome. And another really fun thing is if you're going to a baby shower. Oh, oh true. that is a true, great true, true. idea. And I searched high and low. I wanted to um, pin little diaper pins on here. That would have been but cute. But you cannot find diaper pins anymore. No. It's but probably you just fill cruel. it with little yeah. wet wipes and a silver spoon. Every baby needs a yes. silver spoon. Oh, that's cute. And some baby wash. Just things like that that um, people would think it would be fun for their baby and afterwards the new mom can set this on her changing table yeah, nice and soft and she can store all her things in yeah that's a great great, great gift so those are just kind of the things also, see i use mine for a trash can when i'm sewing we can all I'm wear bad. one yeah, I use yeah, there's one for everybody <laughs> come on oh come on she's just going to squish her hair it's all right <laughs> That's awesome. I joined in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that quarter bucket, and it's super simple. It's super to make. simple. That's so so I great. If you guys are twins. Yeah. Oh, heck no. I'm older. Barb's much older. Yeah. Well, older you knew and that. Wiser or I don't oh no, it. you're adding. I'm you're, sorry. You're putting <laughs> words in my mouth. No. <laughs> no. They're a lot of fun. They're so much. I fun. wouldn't work with anyone but my sister. I know. There's going to be a pattern available. There is yeah. a oh, pattern. There. Oh shoot shoot shoot. Yes. shoot. There is a pattern yes. of the two fat quarter bucket. And we walk you through with all the diagrams and things you need to know to make it. I'm gonna turn it this way so they can see it. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. okay. Two fat quarter bucket, it's available on our website and it, it's got it is, great yes. descriptions for you so you can see but how to make it. seeing it physical helps. Yeah. It's actually their lucky day because it's 10% off. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Thank you, Cheyenne. <laughs> we are so excited. This is actually 10% off. If you click the link in the post, we have a special promotion. If you use the promo code SISTERS, S-I-S-T-E-R-S 10, the number 10, Ooh. you get 10% off some select items at that link. And also, um, we have some of our Fat Quarter bundles on sale right now Ooh, as well. So lots you. of great promotions thank going you. on. Yeah. Lots of fat so, quarters. Yeah, I think that's fun. Everybody likes to get We do things. fast, fun, and easy. Yeah. We ask the question of what size is a fat quarter? What size uh, is 18 by 22. 18 by 22 inches. So yes. So you good. take a half yard and you take off the fold. Okay, you just cut the and half yard and you get a fat quarter instead of a linear nine by mm -hmm. whatever. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And it just gives you more surface area of your fabric. Awesome. Do we have any other questions coming through? 
Anything else anybody wants to know with these amazing ladies? We um, were, you guys are in town for a retreat this week, Yes, right? we are. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's so fun. And so they'll actually, if you are local or somewhat local, they'll be doing live demos in our yes. main shop um, on Friday, correct? True. Friday afternoon. Yes. Friday True. afternoon um, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in our uh, And at the shop, shop, if you hand me Yes, that, yeah. At the shop, we're going to be demoing our new, mm -hmm. in addition to the fat quarter bucket, two fat quarter bucket, we're going to be demonstrating our new double wide Dresden book. We'll have some quilts and blocks to show you, along with the ruler and some of the fun new things that you can do with the ruler. I love it. So cute. So, it's so, really so cute. All yeah. right. So Somebody it, asked. Um, if the bucket is washable. It um, is. Yes. Oh, that's a great Very question. Cool. Really cool. Excellent, actually. Yeah. And the interfacing is Decor Bond? Decor Bond. Yeah, 809 Decor Bond. Yeah. Decor Bond. It's, okay. It's, you and could there's use. There's a link in the post to that as well. It might be broken right now, but we'll fix that. So, okay. Well. <laughs> you know, you could it. do just a scrap of batting. You could. But you would yeah. have to do some cross hatching or something quilting to hold that to, together. Yeah, to make See the deco yeah. bond's making it nice and firm. You yeah. could do your batting, and but it's going to pull, so you yeah, need to you quilt just, it. You would have to just quilt on it. the this exterior. Just, I think darling, quilt it. it yes, would be you could really do. Cute you quilted. have all those cute and that stitches. Would be even better if you were planning on washing it because it would just kind of crinkle up and look fun. Ooh, 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 yeah, so, so you can so use cute. your batting, so you don't have to go out special for it. But I like it because it's crunchy. It makes it stand up really nice. Yeah, nice and stable. That's really great. Can you? I don't know. I come from garment. <laughs> no, At you're going to be honest. <laughs> I, I just, That's I, my sister. Because <laughs> I, I was told. She's the professional. No, <laughs> no it, it, you're going to be clipping your corners and you're going to be folding open and stuff like that. And there's going to be a little bit of pressure on there. So I used a bigger seam. Just to help hold it, keep it yeah. secure. So you really knew. I did kind of know, but. <laughs> you don't want it to unravel, right? No. So when you're yeah. putting that extra tension on it, sometimes that quarter inch seam can yes. not and be Yes, and you're going to be clipping, and you want to make sure you have enough to press open. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, yeah. I am so thankful that you guys <laughs> joined us today. Do we have anybody else that has questions? If not, we will wrap this no, no, up. No, no. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see if we've got any more people who are <laughs> Oh, one of the other things watching. I did, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. I made these with Christmas fabrics and I put oh, true. Christmas cookies oh, in them for that's my candy a, canes. That's a great idea. So cute. I didn't get any, however. No. But the neighbors did. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does that tell us? <laughs> Mary, I need nine. Christmas buckets mm -hmm. by tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, she usually makes them. I do it. Oh, yeah. you made them? Yes, I did. But oh. she takes all the credit. So, you know, but I'm really <laughs> used to it. I'm okay. You guys are the best. I'm the middle child, so, and I play that card all the time. <laughs> and she's the older sister. That's so, so good. Oh, I'm used to it. Uh, Sherry said you could even put a handle on it to make Easter baskets there for you kiddos. Go. Oh, that, my goodness. See, you guys can, are so clever. So smart. I can just see that filled with Cadbury eggs. And Pete. So oh, thanks. Now I have to make them for Barb. Yeah. Okay. And then someone yeah. said, when is the Dresden tutorial? We might work on that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We'll see if we can yeah, make yeah, that yeah, happen. Yeah. So um, oh, thank, you, fun thing. thank you guys so much. We appreciate oh, you, you tuning in. Uh, Debbie Bozer, uh, Nestle Spears. Nestle Spears, Janet Meyer, Nancy Davis, thank you guys so much thank for watching. Uh, we really appreciate you guys tuning in every week. And thank you, Barb and Mary, oh, for you. coming all the way to Hamilton. <laughs> and, we saw and some weather. I know, this was you, fun. You did. So you guys have a great day, and we will see you next week. Thank, thank you. you.